kind of in the flow of of meeting of the meetings um, after the second mobilization we had um, had some time before we had the evening the evening meeting and we we were actually just praying and asking God you know what do you want us to do in this break time and obviously with a bunch of evangelists and a bunch of people who are on fire for the Lord we're like where are we gonna go reach someone for Jesus you know um, so we actually just took some time and walked down the street and um, as we were walking we were we were kind of led down this dead-end path uh, dead-end road I'm sorry this dead-end road it was under construction and while we were walking I, I just got this word dropped in my heart someone's hiding or someone's running someone's hiding I think it was what the word was someone's hiding and so we went down and all we saw was like two abandoned strollers that was it nobody nobody was back there um, and we had in, we had encountered this guy who was carrying this license plate that said tech that was a Texas license plate and so we, I just kind of joked with him the first time I saw him which was actually just before we went down this dead-end road and I was like hey Texas how you doing man what's going on and he just kind of kept going and um, so I'll fast forward we went down the dead-end road nobody was there and we came walking and we saw Texas we saw Texas again. We kept calling out to him, "Yo, Texas, how you doing, man?" And he's like, "Hey," and just kind of waved at us. And he was kind of crisscrossing the streets, and uh, God was just highlighting him to us, you know. And um, we prayed for this guy who was completely hammered. Helped him get up the stairs to get to the subway, and prayed for him to have strength to actually walk up the stairs, and and and, and encouraged him to call in the name of Jesus as he was walking so he could have strength to make it home. And that's his, I encouraged this, this guy who was drunk, call in the name of Jesus all the way through the door, all the way till you walk through the door of your home. Keep calling on the name of Jesus. <laughs> and um, so after we, we, left, we left him, we saw Texas again walking across the street. And then I'm like, all right, God, there's something up with this guy. So we went down, I went down the stairs and there is Texas, and then he like vanished. We we walked up the street and turned the block, turned the corner to the next block, and he vanished. And um, I was like, "Where did Texas go?" And we we're looking at each other. Where did he go? And we we went down. It's another dead end road, and and we're standing there just looking around, and we're like, "Well, can't find him." And here he comes, hopping out of a car. And as he's as he jumped out of the car, he came over to us, and he looked at me, and he says. Why are you chasing me down a dead end street? Who are you? What do you What do you want? And I says, I mean, I don't I don't want anything, man. God's God's chasing you down. And uh, he looked at me and goes, What do you mean, God? What do you mean? And he goes, oh, Okay. And I was like, do You would you like us to to pray for you? And he just looked he looked at us. We looked at him and we said, Let's pray. And uh, we just started engaging in, in his heart, just started melting, really. And um, he just started like, kind of confessing where he was at and how he knew God at one time in his life. But, you know, he didn't want to open up fully, but he started, he started opening up. And um, anyways, the long and the short of it is he, we prayed with him and then he was kind of feeling so much pressure that he just had to leave. So he actually walked away from us and we walked away. And it was that moment where like, he wanted to cry so bad, but he didn't want to do it in front of us, so he had to go. And so we left, went one way, he, he left, went like he was running like a little kid. And he went and sat in his car and just, I, I turned around and I couldn't leave. We couldn't go anywhere. And I said, you know what, I gotta go, I gotta go finish this thing. And I went to the car and I knocked on his window and he's like, no, no, no. And I go, yeah. I kept knocking on his window. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> knocked on his window. And his eye, underneath his eyes were black. His, his, his eyes were watering. His lap was full of tears. And I just looked at him and I says, man, I kneeled down. And I says, what's going on? And he says, I just want my, he goes, I just want my family. And I said, that's why I'm here. I'm not here for 
meetings? I'm not here for, I mean, yeah, we are, but you're why I'm here. God sent me here, man. You know, I was on the run from the cops. You know, I was hiding. <laughs> you can't hide from God. And uh, he's like, I know, man. He's like, I know. He goes, why don't you just go, man? I want to smoke some weed. <laughs> and I'm like, bro. He goes, he goes, I know you're, I know what you're doing, man. But I need to smoke some weed. I go, you can smoke some weed when I leave, if you, if you want to, after I leave. I says, but I want you to give me some time, bro, because your family's more important than the weed. And I said, I want, I want to know your name. God knows your name, and I want to know your name. And he just kept crying, kept breaking down. He gave me his name, and I said, and I want your phone number because I'm gonna call you tonight. I'm gonna, f I want to know what you're doing tonight. <laughs> you thought, you thought me chasing you down the alley was something, bro. You haven't lost me, and you're not, and I'm not gonna lose your number. God isn't gonna lose your number, and I mean, it just completely wrecked him. And we felt it was just God's heart to just go at him and not give up on him because it shows God's heart. God doesn't give up on us. God never gave up on, on Teddy. So, you know, and I feel like that whole picture was what was being awakened in the heart of the, of the people in the church today, that, that day, that Sunday. That they're being awakened to the, the heart of the Father for the lost.